Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to My Nightmare. I'm your host, Michael Ryder. With me is Dane Forgione. Oh, where we? I, I was doing the beer thing. Now I'm. Oh. And I'm Jason Amherst. Excuse me, world. Oh, oh, hi there. I apparently ruined everything. <laughs> no, it's just that I wasn't expecting you to be here. I would have had a space prepared, and then this <laughs> thing fucking. Wanted to screw everything up every when I friggin' went to fix it, so. So uh, uh, I'm sorry I poured a two liter of Mountain Dew all over it. Anyway, uh, we're playing in 64 games. Let's spin this bitch and see what we get. Uh, we have three. So, uh, we have three vetoes, by the way, just so we know. And this might be one so, of them. Uh, Coincidentally, AVGN, at the time of this recording, recently dropped uh, his latest episode. Uh, what game was that? Glover. Oh. Apparently the PlayStation version was better. Anyway, here's this bullshit. Yeah, I, I, I'm vetoing NASCAR because uh, E-E-E. E -E. All right, diarrhea card. Has, has Dane come back yet? Is Dane out of the room? All right. He might have stepped out of the room. Well, then that's an automatic veto. Then we're good. I, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure he wouldn't want to see e e e e e e uh, NASCAR. That's fair enough. So we're just gonna hide that choice and spin this bad boy again. So I found out recently it was originally supposed to be going to Steam. Oh, nice. But apparently... Jason's choice. What we got? Oh. Oh. Pick you a game. So let me look at the list here. And oh, well. Huh. I think it's kind of obvious. I'm, I'm a little torn here. There's some gold on this wheel. Uh... Last time I picked a game, it didn't work. So, <laughs> big bucks, big bucks, no whammies, no whammies. Gauntlet Legends is is going to be either that Lego Racers or Ogre Battle. Midway. Uh, Warner Brothers, you bastards! You own the rights to this franchise, and you're doing nothing with it. Just picture a freaking brand new online gauntlet game with freaking roguelite elements. Now this fiend controls the four realms and you are the only ones who can help. Alright. Thank you. Options. Let's see. I've seen I've seen this one before. Yeah, I uh, I vetoed NASCAR and uh, then it landed on my choice, so gauntlet time. Well, it's a, it's just as well because I would have vetoed NASCAR as well. Yeah, I had we, a feeling. Yeah, we had a feeling. Uh, boob lady, please. Sure, Freya. Fre Fre Freya. That'll work. So, so fellas, listen. I don't want to alarm anybody. Uh huh. You, be careful. Be very careful with your couches because you don't know jd vance might be on the prowl pants down stiffy waiting to just plug in the cushions for the pushing it's, looking it's, for it's, love sex in all the wrong places he, yeah i don't know i mean i heard a noise downstairs i thought i saw a figure humping my couch I called out to it and it ran away. It's been a while since I've seen Vanilla Gauntlet because I'm so used to Dark Legacy. I I would think Vanilla Gauntlet would be the Atari game. This isn't really Vanilla Gauntlet. Well, Gauntlet Legends. That's I mean, because because Dark Legacy was an upgrade to uh, Legends that added like four more playable characters, some extra levels. Uh, more collectibles, all sorts of stuff. Because this this was a hell of a game. Like, it was a 
beefy bastard back in the day. Like you had to go in and uh, like you had to get all of the shards of the stained glass window to fight the final boss. You couldn't just beat all the levels. Um, And I forget which class it was uh, that had like an unfair advantage. Once you hit a certain level, you could use your potion on treasure chests of junk to turn them into uh, uh, treasure chests of treasure. Well, that comes in handy. Treasure, that is what you are. So, (laughs) wait a second now. Are you telling me that there's no more announcer going, the red mage is about to die? No, the announcer, I think think there is is an announcer uh, in this game, but... There, there is an announcer, but I don't think there are as many voice clips in the N64 version due to uh, cartridge limitations. You know, that's... There's a reason why the uh, the GameCube version of Dark Legacy, though, is worth more than the other versions. Because of the uh, more space? No, actually. Um... Because, like, it did get released on PS2 and everything, but, uh, you know the fire breath that he just had? Yeah. So, in the GameCube version, the D-pad on the GameCube controller was used to cycle through and turn on and off items at will. Poor Will. Okay. So, so like, for example, once you got anti-death... You could deactivate it, and then the next time death showed up, activate it and kill death whenever you wanted, without having to use a potion. Ah. Which is great, because there's two kinds of death in the game. There is health death, which is the red one, that sucks your health, and if you use anti-death, you suck death's life, so you can actually have more health than what your character can normally have. So you can kill death. death. Yeah, level yeah. death sucks a level from your character, but if you use anti-death on level death, you gain a level. Oh. Ooh. Exactly. Ooh. So imagine having anti-death as an item and then just saving it for whenever death appears and going like, ha, no reverse. You suck devil, you suck death's life, Giggy. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could use like the turbo attack to like, blow through that whole uh, group of people. I don't know what button turbo is. So Probably a shoulder button? Ha- shoulder, shoulder plus attack? Something like that? Or one of the C buttons plus attack? I don't know. Uh, considering my this C buttons are on a stick on this controller, that's not happening. This reminds me of a Frank Pazetta painting. You know, uh, one of these days... If, if I ever come across some extra money, I'll have to uh, see if I can procure a uh, extra Switch N64 controller and uh, send it your way. Since the Switch N64 controllers can sync to the computer via Bluetooth and are recognized by Windows. So you can actually play N64 games on an emulator so, with an actual N64 controller. Here's the problem with that. By the time you get it to me, we'll be done with the N64 release. <laughs> Probably. Because yeah, we're like, we have, to be, cause we have to be roughly three quarters of the way through the library at this point. Yeah. This is episode 54 of N64 Roulette. So times that by three and then add all the games we vetoed. We have made a significant chunk of the library so far okay that 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 checks out you're right i (laughs) i still suggest that the next one be something kind of fun and obscure like turbo graphics roulette slash pc engine i would love to do i want to be able to do the cd games though too if we're going to do turbo graphics and i have yet to find a a program that allows me to do successfully do the cd games along with the card based games so I think there are I'm some sure there programs are that have both. Back well, in the day, I mean, we actually... Arch. Yeah, okay, so you, my issue with RetroArch is that it... I have to recapture the window every time we start a new game, and that's not conducive to recording. 
So that's the only reason I don't use RetroArch. If it opened everything in the same window and I didn't have to stop and recapture a window every time we played a new game, I would exclusively I've never use run that. into that problem with RetroArch, actually. That's weird. I always have that problem. I've tried several times, and it just... It whenever I load a game, it'll it'll close the menu window and open a game window, and I'm just like, well, that doesn't work for me, unfortunately. Huh. Speaking of uh, speaking of emulators, um, there's an interesting one that has a plugin for a randomizer, where you can plug a bunch of ROMs in and set an interval, and every time something happens, like every so many seconds or whatever. Uh, or between so many seconds, it switches between games in the list. <laughs> it's See, pure that, chaos. That could be very fun in a chaotic sort of way. Yeah, like trying to play every Mario game at once and have cool. it go, jumping between like one lost levels, uh, two slash USA, three. Super Mario World and Yoshi's Island all at once. Uh, through two USA Network sensors. Holy shit, Chance. I was watching a YouTube video a few years Not back. Not nearly as bad. A few years back. What where were, somebody, what were you watching? Some, I can't remember the YouTuber off the top of my head. But they were doing something where every time Mario jumped, they yeah. switched. they switched Mario games randomly. So like yeah, there, be, there have been stuff like that, yeah. So like he, the guy would be playing Super Mario Brothers three, and then suddenly it turned into like Super Mario Sunshine. Like oh my god, this is insanity. Yep. So I I love uh, I love uh, emulators where you can like do stuff like that because it allows you to do a little something kind of wacky and weird, but also varied. And it tests your knowledge, your skill of all of that at once, too, at the same time. Well, you know, I think it would be very easy to do that with Mario games because, for the most part, with I, with a couple of exceptions, possibly, Mario games are very muscle. Yeah, same with Sonic. Yeah. For the most part, like, any side-scrolling oh. Sonic game. Oh, there's death. Use a potion. I don't know how. He's sucking your life. <laughs> and he's gone. Okay. He, he got all zero of it. Good good talk. Good talk, Death. Good talk. Yeah, I don't know how to use potions. I don't know the buttons. <laughs> you must find a switch. I must find a bitch. Here's the key. So. There's a car. There's a car. There's a car. Wait, no, that was NASCAR and we skipped that game. It. I wish we were in Happy World or was it Wacky Land or... It, I think it was Happy World Land. I wish we were in Happy World. Because <laughs> uh, cause Wacky Land was actually where Go-Go Dodo was from. Wacky Nunu Land. <laughs> Are you really the last of the Dodos? Yes, I really am the last of the Dodos. So, uh, I had the privilege. I think the switch might might be in that giant mouth built into the wall. Maybe I don't know. Mouth. I had the privilege. There. Of... You had the privilege of uh, uh, jerking off. No, I had the privilege yesterday no. of seeing Straight No Chaser. And how was that? Uh, it was great. I, I did not know that they had the... Uh, they only had an opening act for a few dates on their tour, and I did not know that we were one of them. So I now can say I've seen Lisa Loeb in concert as well. Nice. Oh. And yes, she did play 
the two songs that everybody knows by her. <laughs> <laughs> Stay, I missed you, and I do. Mm. You say, I only hear what I want to. <laughs> oh, oh man, this song makes me cry. Makes me think of the movie Reality Bites. There's the switch. It's they did the... say there was like a little tip about like a uh, giant uh, dirt piles are destroyable or something like that. We giant I, swing that's that's great, but I didn't recognize that as a giant dirt pile. It just looked like part of the wall to me. Yeah, that's the that's, problem. That, that's how they get you. Yep, they had us in the first half. Not gonna lie. Now to to get to um. A little inside baseball, though I'm sure people already know this. We're recording this on the 31st of July. So Mike saw Straight No Chaser and Lisa Loeb on the 30th. Yes. She also, well, well, she also, she also did, I'm, somebody requested that she do a children's song too, and so she did. She did the, the Disappointing Pancake. <laughs> the the disappointed you know pancake i'm not mad at you i'm just disappointed disappointed My, i'm lisa loeb i was big in the 90s which is actually kind of the whole point of the show because it was uh th it was straight no chaser summer of the 90s they were doing 90s songs hmm um a lot of which I posted the videos on my Facebook, so it was a lot of fun. It was it, it helped that I knew every song that was sung. <laughs> it's always nice. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward because uh, in uh, September I got tickets to go see the Sonic uh, Orchestra live. Nice. Is, where are they where are they playing in September? Uh, they're playing Boston. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's it's cool because uh, Sonic Symphony plays uh, music both uh, orchestrally and uh, with a rock band uh, accompaniment, which means that, uh, yeah, they will definitely be playing some of the hits of later Sonic games like Live and Learn. All right, thoughts do on you, Gauntlet can Legends, you, do, Dan? Can you feel the sunshine? Can you feel the sunshine? Sunshine. Super Sonic Racing. racing. <laughs> All right. Well put, Dane. Uh, Jason. So, uh, <laughs> this is a great argument. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on just a fucking minute here. I didn't, I didn't hear you ask me for my opinion. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to put I, in. I did, though. And you didn't hear I, me. You were singing in the middle of him asking I for your busy. opinion. See, Jason heard me ask you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like when you, it's, it's like when you tell us you're going to the bathroom, and then you tell you say you told us that you went to the bathroom, but we didn't hear you say that you're going to the bathroom. <laughs> you don't like it when it's done to you, do you? <laughs> tell us your damn All thoughts right. on the game, Dane. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait till there's quiet. I mean, the longer you wait, the longer this episode is gonna be. So you're only fucking yourself, buddy. <laughs> I, I only fuck myself when I'm alone. Anyway, uh, twelve days later. The, uh, <laughs> the uh, I was never really a Gauntlet uh, fan per se, but um, with that in mind, this is not too bad. It was. It seemed like it was flowing very well, and uh, it's a fun little. Stabby, stabby, beat him up or so, yeah. All right, Jason. Yeah, I mean, if, if if you don't have access to Dark Legacy, you know, on the next generation of systems, um, I, I would argue that the definitive version of Gauntlet Legends would probably be the Dreamcast version uh, because it was on a disc-based media um, that was more powerful than the ps1 um but yeah like i i played the hell out of this back in the day along with rampage world tour you know like these are two extremely solid 
arcade yeah. titles yeah. that really need to come back. So Warner Brothers, you guys kind of suck, but you know, do the right thing. Invest in some gaming. Yeah, Spike Lee. Give us, give us Rampage and Gauntlet back, please. Yep, this is a solid action adventure game. Uh, even more fun with multiple people. As you can see, you can play with up to four people. Uh, it, it, it would, it, fun chaos is how I would describe it. I think it's uh, Gauntlet Legends is a fantastic game. Uh, scores out of 10, Dane. Seven. Jason. Hey. I'll give it an eight. I, I, my friend, I didn't hear you. I, I answered your question. Don't be a <laughs> Funkle Tump. Well, you, you were like, I thought you were going to start singing. Don't be. Don't an you be an asshole. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. <laughs> All right, spinning the wheel. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Could be fun. So we'll find out sooner or later. Armageddon. Indeed. What what is what is with uh? Off-brand Vin Diesel there, uh, comping the scenery. <laughs> That's his brother, uh, Jim Diesel. <laughs> I'm gonna nom on this city! Nom, 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 I eat my boob! What are you two, what are you two fucking morons doing? <laughs> Making fun of, uh, Jim Diesel there in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh! He looks very intense. Yeah, he's uh, chewing the scenery. Let's see, mm. ED101, max damage, Diana. Dirty Diana. Magnum, 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 that's Ashley Miller's Magnum, new name. Wyatt Kenny. That's Ashley's new nickname now because she causes Dane so much butt pain. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if she wouldn't be such a fucking gaming man. I gotta be God Rod. Of course. But wait a minute, I thought that was me. I wanna be. I'm playing as you. Oh, okay. Can you not be a character in a video game, Dane? <laughs> Um, gee, I don't know. I guess it would depend upon, you know, if somebody asks me and they design me. All Did right. Nice beaver. Nice beaver. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said to Jennifer Coolidge when I was speaking. Ah, oh, that's so nice of you. You want to see it? I love that that's the first thing you two said. <laughs> both, both of you. Nice beaver. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's sitting right there, staring us in the face. What, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Beaver <laughs> Patrol. Mmm. Wreck or wreak havoc on the zombie horde. Twin Shrieks, City of the Lost Giblets. Get your Get rocks your... off. Eye of the Beaver. <laughs> that's the just that's just the vagina. This is the eye of the beaver. Home sweet groan. It's the of the fishy smell. Stoned again. Truck mm. me. Truck. Cluck uh, you. Pissed. <laughs> Cluck you. <laughs> Shove thy neighbor. Where? Woody Woodwrecker. <laughs> That's Jennifer Coolidge. Listen, I want somebody to share out. Unfair fun fair. Snow way out. The Beaver Mountains. West Side Gory. Fair grind. Run, <sighs> runway runaway. <laughs> Scare de pants. Bob Slay. There we go. God damn, how many of these are there? 
C Scythe, Conrad Air. Roll what? up, roll over, Revenge of the Exploding Dead. That sounds pretty messy. Sheik, rattle and roll. What the fuck? Sandy Who's Shandy. Made this, um... Air pain, <laughs> Air pain three. From rust till dawn. Mm -hmm. Smash it up. Fuck. Just deserts. Crabs ahoy! <laughs> That's what happened. Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, on the pist. The pist. Plain silly. The Bruise Brothers. I'm having it. I'm having difficulty with these puns. I want to bereave. Th these puns are making my butt hurt. And Carmageddon. All right, I'm gonna start at the very beginning with nice beaver. Let's do it. A very good place to start. <clears throat> start start with my beaver. The catastrophic effects of Red Friday, June 6th, 2026. Okay, everybody remember that? That date? Remember the date. It's literally only a couple years from now. I want to know if that actually... First of all, I want to know if that's actually a Friday. Hold on a second. I'm not going to look. All right. Uh, June... June 6th is a fucking Saturday. This game fails. You know, yeah. It's Saturday well, in 2026. No, I can't Sorry, I can't take you seriously because you were off by a day. You motherfucker, you. You motherfucker. Let's go. Let's go. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Those wacky, quacky dinosaurs. I was running over them. They might have been beavers. I have no idea. So this is Carmageddon, right? This is Carmageddon, yes. Yep. <clears throat> it's racing, but kill things also. Well, I mean, depending upon yeah. the version. Right. Be because of the sensibilities of the British. As Kadikaris would, would no doubt tell you. They replaced the humans in Carmageddon with zombies. Because, hey, yep. it's terrible to run over people, but if you're running over zombies, it's okay. Oh, geez, I just realized, isn't this supposed to be New York City? <gasps> oh, dear. Is it? I thought it was Beaver. Well, the I thought it was... looks, looks suspiciously like I it. I thought it was Beaver City. Well, look at the... Look at those twin towers over there. Hey, okay. I mean, Beaver City still has their ten twin towers. They didn't fly a beaver into them. No, they, they certainly did not. <laughs> that would be there quite... is a distinct... There's a distinct lack of zombies here. There is. Yeah. You've wasted zero out of three. But you're still on the first lap. Interesting. Zombies! Where, where are, are the enemies? Yeah, where are the enemies? I don't know. Have, have the accoutrements borked this game? I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Something's... Something going on here. Something feels off because everything is like empty. It's, there are no it's enemies. Way too, it's way too whoa. Okay. Sweet. Out of time. Cool. 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 I'm out of touch. I'm out of time. Burba do flabba dee ba Buddha Bay. A Buddha Bay. Yep. Something about Cheddar Bay Biscuits, ole. They're delicious. What about them? Um, oh, Jesus. I drove on the wall literally there for a minute. Oh, okay. So, uh... Wow. The background is actually the same guy that's on the cover of the original Carmageddon from, uh, 97. Oh, nice. 
Mm. Interesting. Intersexing. Oh. Uh, Stainless Games uh, obtained their rights in 2011 uh, from Square Enix Europe. Um, and then THQ Nordic acquired the rights from Stainless oh, Games huh. in 2018. You killed one nine of the sword. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 Farmageddon 2, Carpocalypse Now, which was released as Carmageddon 64. So this is technically the second Carmageddon. Oh, fun. Carmageddon 2, Electric oh. Carmelou. Oh, oh no. I have Blues the Brothers. The 64 version was published by Titus Interactive. Excuse you. Um. Game over, yeah. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Oh, well, this game is kind. Of, this game is kind I'm of silly. and I can't get up. I got up. <clears throat> so, the game features a heavy metal soundtrack. If you're playing on Windows, Mac, or PlayStation, uh, with four original songs by Iron Maiden included. Ooh. The Trooper, Aces High, Be Quick or Be Dead, and Man on the Edge. Uh, Music uh, by Sentience is also used. So, so just oh, their old song. Okay. Yeah, like four of their greatest hits, yeah. Yeah. Well, wait, well, not 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 their one of their greatest hits because "Bring Your Daughter to the Slaughter" is not among them. Mm. Sing, fetch your daughter. Bring your daughter to the beaver. Anyway, unlike the first game, Carmageddon Two does not have steel-worthy cars, which are cars that have a chance to be taken if wrecked in a race. Instead, any car wrecked can be purchased. I see. Well, you know what else would be really great in this game? Zombies. Run over. Yeah, apparently uh, there was a third one as well. Uh, Carmageddon TDR 2000. Which stands for Total Destruction Racing. Wow, this is, um... Oh, the SCI apparently stands for the European publisher. Tales Curve Interactive. Gotcha. Um... The franchise went dormant for over a decade, with the next one being Carmageddon Reincarnation. What incarnation? Uh... Wow. It came out on the PS4 and Xbox One, apparently. I guess people were jonesing for it. 2016. It was funded think- through Kickstarter, apparently. Well, it's this shit. Armageddon Next Damage, released on PS4 and Xbox One. Hello, this is DJ Slopes. Sometimes people on Kickstarter are cunts. Very true. People For example, are and other people, times, there's so amazing why should stuff it be? On, uh, there's amazing stuff on Kickstarter, too, including a board game from the creator of Mucha Lucha. I am under the water. I am under the water. Just recover. That's fine. Is it a is it a Mucha Lucha game or is it? Uh, well, they they can't use the name Mucha Lucha. I guess Warner Brothers might own it. Um, but yeah, it's it's literally 
implied to be Mucha Lucha, the cardboard game. <clears throat> Interesting. Yeah, I, I think that that's pretty sweet, actually. I was just like, oh, nice. So I backed it. There's also going to be a Shin Megami Tensei board game as well on Kickstarter soon. Mm -hmm. I am the hardest. I am the hardest. I am the best. No one can beat me. They had a Joe Hendry was in concert on uh, NXT. Yep. <sighs> NXT NA is real. I guess so. What? Guess it's uh... my favorite part is that he literally has become Jandlecak too. If somebody says his name, his theme plays and he shows up. Interesting. Okay. I was wasted. Thoughts on Carmageddon 64, Darren? This was not very good. For a game about running over people, or zombies rather, there was a distinct lack of zombies. I don't know why. That's like that's like playing Super Mario and there's no Mario. Don't doesn't don't did, ding don't, dong diddly don't make, bang those ding dong diddly dias. Doesn't make no dang sense, man. Uh, Jason. Yeah, you know, I'm just not impressed. You know, uh, I mean, uh, Twisted Metal, this wasn't. Yeah, Twisted Metal kind of did this way the fuck better. Even Vigilante 8 is way better than this. Like, I don't know, man. I, I think you can keep your karma getting Scores out of 10, Dane. One. Jason. Two. Yeah, one. I'd flush this down the toilet. Here's where he'd have his toilet noise if he was at home. Yep. Or, and then one of my parents would be like, is somebody shitting? <laughs> is somebody shitting? Somebody shitting, yeah. S-H-I-D-D-I-N-G. <laughs> is... Kidding. Isn't she shitting? Isn't she, she shitting? Oh, okay. This this is a kind of interesting game. They attempted to uh, make a fusion dance of Paperboy in a 3D world uh, and then decided, oh, hey, skateboarding games are popular right now. What if we put, like, tricks and stuff in the game, too? That's I, exactly. I remember this, this and that's why there are whores. Get it, tricks. Anyway. <laughs> <sighs> they did a decent job of capturing that funky music of the originals. Paper boy. Hey, everybody. Um, the uh, the Super NES one. Uh, uh, had uh, the Seinfeld bass as part of the soundtrack. Uh, my name is. Whoops. Yep, whoops is my name. My name is Jaundice. I am yellow by nature. <laughs> 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 Bert. Time to deliver around the cul-de-sac. That's French for ass of the bag. I can't go backwards. <laughs> I guess I can't go backwards. <coughs> Oh. 
Damn it. I have messed up. Oh. Well, that's not good. Ouch. <laughs> Yay! Hey everybody! Ow. Let's go gambling! Ow. Oh, Let, dang let's it. Gary Shandling! Oh, this is the Gary Shandling show. It is my show. This is the theme to Gary's Ho. Nice. <gasps> mm -hmm. That's a good shot on that one. It's the Gary. Perfect. Oh, there's there's a guy doing crimes in the window there. Kill him! Get, no, look out! Oh! You, well, you know, you could sue for millions and billions of dollars. Billions and billions of billions of dollars. You would never have to paper a boy again. So is it just going to let me go around and around until I hit everything? No, I'm yeah, going well, to run out of time. Left. Yeah, I did half a job. I'm proud. <laughs> I did it half-ass. That's the American way. That's right. This, this Charlie Brown looking motherfucker. <laughs> Find hidden wah, wah. bonus coins. Why is that weird polygon that is a little dark? I'm oh, uh, you, you now have more houses. I know. Now it's eight instead of six. Oh, so then you must have been doing good, because usually when you do bad, they take away houses. Nice. Perfect. Ooh, bonus coin. You found a hidden coin. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, Yay. dang it. Perfect. Bob Saget. I hit some lawn gnomes. Bitch. <laughs> slapped her and went, hey, bitch, what's in the bowl, what's in the bowl bitch? Eat a shit. Oh, never mind. Don't eat a shit. Don't eat any shits. That'll work. No, don't. No, oh, don't do it. Oh, you ate the shit. How dare you eat shit? I've... I had a feeling I could throw to the right, but like, I don't need it. What the fuck? Oh, Somebody. Shit. I missed one. So, oh, actually, never mind. I, it looks like I got it. I was looking. I'm looking on GoFundMe, and apparently, somebody is trying to do a a fairly odd musical, like a musical based on fairly odd. Oh, okay. They're trying <laughs> to get it done. All so that's. Right. Oh, you you uh, need uh, at least two to go back, I guess. Let's go to Alice's RV Haven. What? Bird. Yeah, I love the 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 fucking music cues there. Uh, the, the the farty trumpets. Yep, indeed the farty trumpets. A smackaroonies. The trumpet! Trumpet! <laughs> the tr 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 trumpet! <laughs> Wackity wackity smack! These two are fighting! Let me see if I can stop that. Nope. 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 That'll, that'll work. This is way easier than the All fucking right. NES game, I'll tell you that. I'm having way less difficulty with this. I guess I can speed up a little bit. Nice. Oh, I can't believe I got that. Hey, baby. Hey, and you got a coin, too. Yep. I am the greatest paperboy of all time. You're even be you're even better than famed French paperboy Jacques Lecoq. Jacques Lecoq. 
Park animal scene with Park bonus coins. Bonus. Okay, okay, good to know. Oh, it's a figure eight. Okay. <laughs> Moose pellet park. It's a shit joke, everybody. Did, did you get it? Do you got? Do you understand? You... Okay. <clears throat> I mean, we can't all be as nuanced as you, paper boy. Thank you. I. What is a nuance? Is that when? Never. Is that when your you have a your uh, ne niece or nephew is born? Or you become a new aunt? You know what? Yes. Is it new uncles yes. too? <laughs> mm hmm No. Mm hmm Yep. Are you just exactly. are you just putting up with my hey, shit? Am I just putting what? Are you just putting up with my shit? Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, okay. No, get out of oh, here. There was a bear. Yeah, I'm not. I ain't fucking with no bear. The hell with that. Yeah, but park animals can have coins. Yes, but bears kill you. Don't you? Aren't you? Well, if you go into the woods, yeah, you would rather but, be but, with a bear. Bear has coin. Also, bear has teeth and claws. So, yeah. Yeah, but like, uh -huh. hold on a second. If you're really nice yes. to the bear, if you're really yeah, nice yeah, to the yeah. bear, maybe they'll give you a coin. Don't be mean to the bear. I wasn't being mean to the bear. I ran away from the bear because I didn't want to be hurt. Well, you know, that's making the bear very self-conscious, okay? I think that's I am, what I'm trying to say. I, listen... I don't. I am not fucking with the bears. See, there's a bear. I didn't fuck with him, and I got a gold coin out of it. And you got the coin. Well, you're not fucking with the bears. They're a terrible football team. I missed a house Stop somewhere. Sorry. Stop balls. That maybe it was the uh, security guard check. I don't know. Ah, uh, maybe. Park ranger check. <laughs> Yay! I was new gonna level. say this is the. Uh, the same synth that they used for uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, actually. <laughs> Including the bird. <laughs> bird. Bow, 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 bow. It's, how Mar it's how Mario farts. <laughs> Fuck off, dog. Are you like Mario Fart 8. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he needs to stop farting then, I guess. Boink. Whoop. Oh. Boink. <laughs> oh. Mario Farty. Yep. This is oh. so... This is a, a more fun to me and a lot less stressful than the NES Paperboy. The NES Paperboy... I guess... By... It's an NES game. I guess it's meant to be kind of difficult. I, I guess I, I get mean, that. I mean, because the original game was an arcade game. Right. This, on the other hand, less stressful, easier to get into, most definitely fun to play. Like, I'm actually enjoying this. Well, that's good. The Paperboy looks like... like the paperboard looks like a deformed Caillou. I don't know how to do that. How do I have Oh, uh, looks like there's a... Whoops. I throw papers now. I'm oh. caught. There we go. I figured it out. Yeah, he does look like a deformed Caillou. Hurrah! I gotta go old oh. metal, bitch. I, I am gotta get through this. I gotta get through this. Oh, you unlock a bonus level by getting all the coins. Yes. That's what it is. I'm gonna go back and see if I can get <laughs> some more bonus coins in. Insert coin to continue. Um. Ha. Literally almost every house is a subscriber now. That's what happens when you're a good paper boy. You know how I do your shit. And you fuck you. Stupid car. I was gonna say, these houses look like they're from either Rugrats or Rocco's Modern Life. I got two people with that one fucking newspaper. That's pretty fucking impressive. No! 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 Oh, <laughs> I missed a subscriber. No, I missed another. You missed the second one. You were blocked. No! 
You missed the third one. I know. God damn it. Oh my god. Oh my You're god. Gonna I'm gonna fire now. I'm gonna have to fart on another man's balls. No, you never fart on another man's balls. Ooh, another coin. Ooh, construction guy. Nice Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Fuck. I'm just wildly throwing newspapers. Just, just keep throwing papers. Yay! Wow, wow, and crazy kids. Bam, 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 na, 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 Bam, 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 na, 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 Stop being a pervert! Weird friggin' burglar. I think burglar. he was trying to break and enter. Yeah, well, I stopped his ass, because he, he a doofus. He a doofus. Yes. All right, now I'm just trying to find that other coin. I have so much time. I can actually go back and get the houses I missed. Nice. Nice. Good. Good. Nice. I am the best. I still only got two coins, though. It's all right. I'm sure you'll find that third one eventually. Hey, Whoa. you now have uh, all of the uh, subscribers. Tesla Town. Oh no, Elon Musk. Sounds like a horrible place. <laughs> yeah. Gotta live, gotta live, gotta live in Tesla Town. Gotta live, gotta live, gotta live in our town. Uh, I guess I'll just try Tesla Town. Why not? Tesla Town gets fresh, gets new, fresh victim. new victim. <laughs> For a second, I thought they said fresh new virgin. That would be horrifying. It's Elon Musk. Wow. <laughs> okay. Ooh, hey, what's up, Bride of Frankenstein? Don't you mean Frankenstein's monster? Don't you mean Franken Weenie? I don't know. Fuck it. You want to fuck Frankenstein? Got that witch, bitch. Didn't you bring your truck with you, did you? Um, no. No. Are you a goat, babe? Are you a roller skating goat woman? What the fuck? I am so corn fused. I got all the coins though. Stop throwing fireballs at me, Satan. What are you even doing in a Paperboy game? You know, this Paperboy is trying to make a living, Satan. You're throwing shit at Ow. me. Ow! Get the fuck out of here. Get back on my bike, thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Goat, babe. Nope, I don't want to fuck go. that. Here we go, babe. Babe, 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 Ring a ding, ding, babe. Ring a ding, ding. My pants are on a swing. What? We'll get him down. <laughs> Smack. There, don't belong to you. Oh, I gotta hurry. Get to the other house, quick, quick, Double quick, quick. Oh, yeah. Go, go, go. That was a long shot. Man, I'm enjoying the shit out of this. It's <laughs> it's unfortunate that I gotta stop. Uh, but thoughts on Paperboy, Dane? That was fun. It controls a lot better than the NES version, which notoriously had bad controls, if I remember correctly. All right. Um, it seemed like you were enjoying yourself, which is the important thing. Yes. Yeah, really good, really good. Jason. It's a great game. I mean, uh, you know, it's it's a fresh take on Paperboy. Um, again, another franchise that could come back. I could see it as having roguelite elements. Like, it's a very doable thing. But Warner Brothers Discovery just sitting there on all these old Midway games, not doing shit with them. Like, what the fuck? Right. But I digress. This game is really good. Uh, you know, I mean, beats the hell out of the original arcade game. Because I don't know if you guys have seen the actual arcade machine. You controlled it 
with a pair of actual handlebars attached to the freaking machine with buttons on the handle for throwing left and right. It is hard. Yeesh. Yeah, uh, it is a lot of fun. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, that, like I said before, the original Paperboy is balls achingly hard. This one, much better. Much, much better. Uh, scores out of 10, Dane. Nine. Jason. Nine. Yeah, I'll give it a nine. Uh, on today's episode, <laughs> we played uh, Gauntlet Legends, Carmageddon 64, and Paperboy. Best game of the episode, Dane. Paperboy. Uh, Jason. Uh, Karma. No, no, no. Clearly Gauntlet. <laughs> and I, I'm going to go with Paperboy. All right, uh, that's going to do it for this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Fortune and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time.